back for another one. Uh, hopefully, well, this video I'm putting out Friday, and hopefully I don't get yelled at for it. Uh, yeah, but if you haven't seen it, I guess go watch it. Unless I took it down, then never mind. <laughs> but uh, right here we got a box from FCP Euro. If that clip looks funny, I might have just put my address in there. Um, let me find something to cut this open. Got a new O2 sensor. I ripped my old one by accident when I was putting the turbo in the last time. I, uh, okay. I, uh, like the sensor wire got caught on like the manifold or something and like pulled the wires. So it wasn't reading AFR, so hopefully this is the right one. Um, I get FCP. Usually I go to shop that for like everything, but. This piece, I feel like O2 sensors go like every year or so, at least for me. This is probably like my third one. Probably good to have a new one anyway, honestly, but, um, you know, with FCP, you can just send it back and get a new one, so. Get this, yeah, okay, and the connector looks right, so we'll go slam this in the car. I ordered the parts I need, uh, what are they called, the spool valves for my cams from the dealership. She said it was $104 for retail, and for me it was $69, so I was like, nice. And uh, they should be here tomorrow. So with this O2 sensor and those, um, the car should be back on the ground tomorrow, do a quick oil change, and then I'll drive it to work and um, do a bunch of oil flushes and uh, filter changes there on the lift come Friday. And then hopefully I can just find a, my own first car meet with this car here over the weekend between here and Virginia Beach and uh call it a day so we're gonna get out there go toss this in real quick um I'm really not gonna record that because that's you know too easy to do and I can't show you guys the turbo anyway and uh I want to look in the cam I brought some tools home I bought a mirror and some magnets and stuff I want to look in the cam make sure there's no like pieces of the missing uh metal stuff from those spool valves. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the two videos ago. It's 5,000 subscribers and bad spool valve. So go check that out. Um, actually, a guy at work told me to check those, and that's wound up what it being. What it being wound up what it had been. Worked. I mean to make like a a walkthrough video of like the house. I'll show you guys a little bit over here. It's like the, the liquor stuff. Here, let me get out of the camera. I just have my computer set up here for now since we sold our desks when we moved because we didn't have room. I like that picture. Boom. At the 32. Skirt. It's not really like meant. This is like meant to be like a bar. Behind that you got the pantry. Kitchen. I really like this. It's nice with it. A little dining area. We're planning on getting a different table still. I want one that has like a bench on the side and stuff. Living room's a little there. You get the pups. Look at me. Nice big old TV. We still need to get like tables and stuff or stands here, gas, some blankets, some pictures. Got the garage, the upstairs, the race cars, the hall, pictures, closet. All of our bathrooms have like automatic lights, which is really neat. Boom, turns on. Nice. This room really hasn't been much. We bought a bed set that we didn't want. We're repairing this right now. It's stuff to take out to the ocean. Buddy's supposed to come pick up this hatch. Where you at, bruh? He's been using it mostly as like dog stuff. Then we got a puppy. Hey, buddy. Doing a little house tour. What's up? Another closet. I need to clean up this mess right here, but with the water, water heater. We got the front door. Boom. Some flowers. Nice big backyard. Deck's kind of small. Stepped through the thing the other day, ripped that apart. Need to get out here and mow today, but nice big, real big backyard. A shitty little grill. Nice with it. I'd show you guys upstairs, girlfriend sleeping, she's tired. She works her butt off at work, but I had a long day myself. Get out of here and get to wrenching, I guess. There he is. Plenty of yard for these two. Ready? Get it! Breathe here. Here. 
What are you doing? Here. Thank you, sir. Ready? You're on camera, you gotta catch it. Ready? It's an easy one. Your brother done messed it all up, huh? Here. So I gotta be careful not to show you guys this turbo, which makes things kinda difficult, but what I'm doing, I'm putting a mirror up to these holes where those valves go, and you can't really see, because yeah, now it's gonna get out of focus. Um, basically like little holes in there for oil pressure, and then the cam magnet will control the little valve that's in there, and then that'll control the teeth basically on the chain for, for timing. Um, it's just like a real basic thing. It's just like a, a magnet way down in there, and uh, in both of them actually. And just, just ran them around the, Exhaust one's a lot shallower than the intake one. I can't even make it all the way down the intake one, but um, didn't get anything. I'm trying to set the mirror up here so you guys can actually see inside. It's going to be difficult. Wow, oh, that's still really hard to see. The lighting isn't right, but you can get the mirror in there. Look around. It's kind of cool to see uh, how this stuff works. But and basically, that's all I was doing. Getting. Like, I think I might my big ass head might be blocking the light that you need on the mirror to like get down in there and see but everything looks okay so that's great news i am dying of sweat already been out here for 10 minutes and i still need to mow the lawn man um this part should be here tomorrow i'm super excited i really just really 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 just want to drive really 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 just want to drive <laughs> super excited i need to order brake pads i need to order tires i think one of my tires back here you might be able to see it oh yeah that that back one over there yeah we got some some cords showing there my re 71rs they've had plenty of plenty of traveling on them so uh looking to get the i think they're called the at 660s shout out to my homie kyle he said i should go to those that they're proven to be way faster than the well, yeah, i shouldn't say way faster but definitely faster than the re 71r as long as they're warm, so it shouldn't be an issue. We got the burnout switch for launches, and one or two laps at all across, they they warm up pretty quick. So that'll be. I'll be looking. If you any of you guys know where I can get a good deal on those, these are two thirty five, thirty five seventeens, but they run bigger than what they say. They're cheater tires. I don't know if the AT six sixties are like that or not, but I'm looking to downsize because um, you can see they kind of poke. I don't know why my camera cut off, but as you can see, they poke out of the rim. So I'm looking to get something not as tall so that there's less flex and a little bit thinner. And that should shave a little bit of weight, rotational mass. And, you know, if the tire doesn't flex as much in the corners, it should be better for me as a driver. So I'm looking to get something a little bit smaller. I'm going to get 225, 35, something like that. Or 225, 30, I don't know. Somewhere in there. If you guys know good place to get those tires let me know drop it down i really appreciate it need to order those next and then uh pretty much all i need is tires and the car to run and i'll be good to race and once everything's settled everything's good i'm probably going to order the verk line front end stuff i think the amount that i could sell this front subframe that audi aluminum subframe and the white line control arms i could sell those and make up most of the cost for the cost of for the verk line um, subframe and arms so uh, yeah it's a little secret but I could just deliver it to somebody instead of them waiting and or if they don't want to deal with tubular adjustable and you know what's it called spherical links and stuff so trying to get rid of these get into that no way I can adjust the bumps here up front bumps here in the back is like perfect now everything is like way good on the rear end front end needs a little bit of tweaking but she's good to go now EQT came out with that five bar sensor and I don't like the way that this AEM setup works i'm gonna go back to my old boost tab so here probably soon i'll be ordering that and then selling this this aem i'm selling the tap the sensor and the the harness for it so i can go to eqt's i like i like their little five bar sensor so i need to clean up this engine bay but anyway talk to you guys tomorrow when uh hopefully my parts are here and we can start this baby up just need to do an oil change filter change and uh get those parts in so fingers crossed that shit works ladies and gentlemen it is the next day we have car parts here 
Man, this sun is freaking bright. Um, you guys are looking for the part number ever. I'm across this. Boom, that's what it is. Cost me the dealership retail is 105 a piece. I got them for 69 a pop. Anyway, huh. nice. I'm gonna drain the oil, change the oil filter, get the belly pan back on, and then smother these in some assembly lube, slam them in, tighten everything down, and hopefully this fires up and doesn't rattle like a motherfucker. Um, I'm like overly hyped and it is seriously hot. Um, I know there isn't really all that much to show you guys. I'll show you guys here and there before I slip them in. Just gonna go ahead and get this oil stuff done. Um, before I start sweating my back off. So here we go. Fingers freaking crossed. I'm super nervous and hyped up. Really hope this works. But he said to lather these real good and some assembly lube. So I'm doing my best here. It's kind of gross, honestly. Doesn't look uh, too appropriate, but <laughs> I'm gonna lather them up. All nice and new looking. Is it focusing? Oh, there we go. Skirt. I need to go grab my iPad and bring up the Dropbox, search through the engine book, see what the torque specs are for these bad boys. They're reverse threads, so there's that. It's a bit of information for you as I make a. Nice All right, boys, we got our torques. You can see I am dripping sweat. Getting these cam magnets on. Um, they actually might need replaced too, and they're just these three T30s. Um, it's a lot harder of a job to do when you have AC, because the AC lines are in the way of this exact screw right now. Um, but it's a relatively simple job. Undo the connectors, undo the three screws for each, and replace them. I probably should replace them. I should have ordered them with these, honestly. I'm really bad at doing things like this. But... Yeah. Real freaking close. Popping this baby off. Just need to connect all the sensors, put oil in it, clear the codes, and start her up. All right, ladies and gents. Everything's back together. Oil's in the car, new filter. Just need to, uh, yeah, I'm just, I don't even know what to say. I'm nervous as hell. Just want to drive my car. Here we go. Go grab the keys, have her wipe my back off because there's dog hair and dirt all over me. I'll start this baby up. If she's good to go, I'll drop it down on the ground, get it off jack stands, move some of these cars out of the way. We'll go for a drive. All right, boys, here we go. Just clear the codes. My heart's racing. We're not gonna know until code starts over, so. Hopefully at least AFR reads, spend all that money on the new. Here we go. See, there a second ago, it wasn't reading the intake cam, but now everything's moving as it should. AFR looks good. Pressure, like, uh, what's it called? Like vacuum, that looks about right. Timing, I mean, I don't know what that's supposed to be at idle. No knock. And what I was hoping for, there's no nasty freaking sound. I can put my hand on the motor. It feels, feels good. Not crazy. Um, so I'm gonna sit out of here and sip on some yingling, wait for this oil to warm up, 
Make sure no random noises happen, no leaks. That's up. Um, and give her a couple revs, and if everything's good, get these cars out of the way. We'll go for a quick lap around the block, and then uh, set her down for the night, and then we'll drive her to work tomorrow. Uh, I already talked to my floor guy, and he said that I'm good to go at lunch to basically put the car on the lift and do a couple oil flushes. So I'm gonna sit there and eat my lunch in the shop and do oil flushes. So I mean, the sound, I'm not, I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself, but sounds like that fixed the, the noise I was having, so. And it does look a little vibrating. That could just be from the engine mouth. I haven't like stared at my engine bay in a while when it's running. But it seems, I mean, it doesn't feel like crazy out of whack. Definitely doesn't feel like it did before, so. Be nice thing to get this 85 through it, get some fresh E in it. Um, well, I'm hyped up. Smell the exhaust, the oil's coming off the exhaust again. Smell it. Yeah. yeah, I've only had it like, wearing it twice really since all the oil was dumping through the exhaust. So it was probably gonna stink for a while, but. Awesome, so awesome. All right, y'all. I went through the gears already. Figured I'd go through the gears with y'all real quick. In the garage, everything seems good. So, super stoked about that. Let's sit here, roll through all the gears real quick. Downshifting is weird because the tires are off the ground. I was like, why does it feel so... the Man, I miss these dog gears. I cannot wait to take this to work tomorrow. Tell me about my parking brake and stability control. Well, yeah, I'm in the air, buddy. Oh, well, now it won't let me turn it off. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, I mean, the car seems all right. One heat cycle, let her cool off here. I'll get the cars out of the way, reorganize. Just threw burgers on the grill, so I'm gonna eat. Um, and get out and take a lap real quick, I and mean, then I can finally take a shower. I am just like covered in dirt, grease, dog hair, sweat. Um, yeah, I'll take you guys on the camera for the, the lap around the block real quick after dinner and then uh, I'll try to record some at work tomorrow uh, so make sure get get all the little bits of metal out of the oil hopefully it doesn't mess up any of my bearings or anything the car seems fine we're not getting any knock nothing crazy my turbo sing it God damn. All right, see you guys after dinner. Say hi. <laughs>